Hey, welcome back. We're in the Gospel of Luke, chapter 8. Today, just verse 38 and 39. This is the end of this sequence we've had the last few mornings. Now, here's the guy. He's at the feet of Jesus. The demons have been cast out, and let's see what happens next. Now, the man from whom the demons had departed begged him that he might be with him, but Jesus sent him away, saying, Return to your own house and tell what great things God has done for you. And he went his way and proclaimed throughout the whole city what great things Jesus had done for him. So an interesting piece here. Here's the man. Jesus throws the demons out. And he begs Jesus. He pleads with Jesus. Please, I want to go with you. And you'd think, well, Jesus would say, well, there's, there's room. Come on along. But Jesus says, no, there's something different that you need to do. And he hasn't had a lot of big lessons from Jesus yet. I mean, he, he probably needs some kind of basic instruction and insight. And yet, and yet... Jesus says, here's what you do. Go back, verse 39, return to your own house and tell what great things God has done for you. And here's an insight for us. When we are, uh, we want to go on and do a great work, you know, maybe this guy wanted to go to the seminary, he wanted to study, you know, he wanted to be a pastor, he wants to be an evangelist. And so, you know, let me get right into class right now. Let me start my Greek and Hebrew right now. Jesus says, no, your first thing, I've delivered you, your first thing, go to your own house and tell what great things God has done for you. Be a witness, be a testimony to what God, what God I have done. God has delivered him from demon possession. That's a, that's a pretty big story. And he is to go back and start in his own house and be a witness for the power of God in his own house first of all. So friends, you'd think that Jesus would say, come along, we're, gonna, we're, we're starting a, a, a nine-week course right now. You know, you're, just come with us. But no, Jesus says, no, you, I know you're begging me. Right now, what your mission is, is this. It's this. It's not what you thought it is. It's this. And when Jesus tells you what, what your mission is, that is what your mission is. You might have bigger plans, different plans that you think are bigger, but the bigger plan is always the plan that Jesus has for you and I right now. Let's pray. Father in heaven, we have big plans sometimes, and yet many times those are not the kingdom plan. The kingdom plan for this man was to return to his own house and be a witness to the power of God, what God had actually done in his experience. Help us to learn from this, Lord. We should always think big. You may have a giant project for us, but when you give a clear uh, insight that this is what you want us to do instead of that, we need to do this right now. So, Thank you, Lord, that uh, we can be a blessing. Sometimes it's the most difficult in our own house. Give us your help. Give us your insight. Uh, make our witness effective. And then teach us human relations, Lord. Teach us how to interact with people who are reluctant to trust all to your kingdom. Uh, give us insight, emotional insight for people so we'll know how we can be the most effective in telling of your power. Thank you for hearing our prayer. In Jesus' name we ask. Amen. May God help us to tell of his power to the very people that God is sending us to at that time. Sometimes it's somebody different than you thought it was. God's blessing be upon you today.